Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe. Welcome to Shape by Faith. We shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this strength training on the ball workout that I designed just for you. The only thing you will need is a stability ball and a set of weights. Let's get started. So to warm up, we're just gonna do some easy bounces, moving those arms front and back. If you want, you can come off the ball or you can stay down on the ball. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. You're God's child. I'm God's child. So we are all in the same family, right? Keep moving those arms. We're warming up this core and these arms. I'm excited about this exercise. I love working with the stability ball. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Okay, go ahead and grab yourself a set of weights. They don't have to be heavy at all. They can be light. I have light weights. I have three pounds right here. So the first exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to extend one leg out, bring the palms towards one another and do a chest fly as you lift that leg up. Okay. Just do what you can do and just lift that leg just a little bit to test yourself out. If anyone is in Christ Jesus, you are a new creation. The old has passed and the new has come right? So if you've accepted Jesus Christ into your heart, you're a new person. God is transforming you and me from the inside out. Or maybe you need to ask Jesus into your heart today. It will be the best day of your life. All right, keep going. Feeling this through the shoulders and the chest and that opposite leg. One more. Very nice. Now extend your opposite leg out. This time we're gonna bring the weights over the shoulders and we're gonna press and then lower down as we lift that leg. So let's bring it together, keeping that core engaged. Exhale on that lift. His divine power, God's divine power has given us everything we need to live a godly life. You know, God has given us everything. The strength that we need, the families that we need, the people in our lives that we need to shape and mold us into who He created us to be. All right, keep lifting and lowering, exhaling, inhaling. You can do this just a few more times. One more, very nice. Now bring your arms at the side. You're going to lift one knee and then you're going to extend the leg out. So you're going to lift it and extend. At the same time, you're going to bring that arm out to the side. Just bring that one arm out to the side. Good. We're going to do this for a few more repetitions with this arm and then switch out that arm. Keeping your body upright. I love sitting on the ball. It's got a little bit of a give that takes the pressure off the spine in the back. All right, go ahead and switch it out. God saved you by His grace when you believed. So when you first ask the Lord into your heart, into your life, you know, He forgave you of everything as you confessed your sins, and He bestowed His grace upon you. Isn't that good? All right, two more of these. One more. Now the opposite leg lifted up. This time, bring the arms out in front of you, palms facing up. So as the leg extends out, you bring those weights back towards you. So we're working the biceps and that leg. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. And they will soar high on wings like eagles. You know, that strength, that supernatural strength, do you know what I'm talking about? Like when you don't have it, and then all of a sudden you have it, you've prayed and you've asked God, and there it is right there. I mean, thank God in advance for his strength. He supplies us with strength every single day. Maybe some days you need more strength than others, right? All right, let's do that two more times. And one more. 
All right, let's place the weights together or you can set one weight down. Let's go ahead, and bring them up over the head. And what we're gonna do is extend the leg, alternate those legs one at a time, working on balance here. Cast all your anxiety and all your cares on him, on Jesus, because he cares so much for you. He does. He cares about what you're doing and what activity is going on in your life. And he cares about your relationships and your jobs and your family. He does. Just go to him with your concerns and he will help you out. All right, so you should be feeling this in your triceps, the upper arms, and in your legs. And you should feel that balance challenge all throughout your body. All right, one more. Now we're gonna bring the weights out in front of us. So you're gonna walk your feet out just a little bit. Now you're gonna hinge forward. You wanna keep that back up nice and straight, arms down beside you, and just row the arms. All right, so keep a real straight spine. You're hinging from your hip flexors. You know, God's gonna meet all your needs. He will. Maybe you're out there today going, you know, financially, I have no clue where that money's coming from. You know what? I would encourage you just to trust God, just to do your part and let him do his part. He's a big, big God and he will supply all your needs. Now squeeze in between your shoulder blades as those elbows come back. Again, you wanna make sure your posture um, is really good here. That spine is straight those elbows going straight back. You're gonna exhale with those elbows coming back. Inhale as you lower. Let's do that one more time. Very nice. How'd you like that on the ball? Coming up next, we will continue working on our strength and balance on the stability ball on Shaped by Faith. We're gonna roll down on the ball and use the ball as our weight bench. So come along with me, take some baby steps out. You're gonna scoop that belly in as you go all the way down, keep walking out and then place the head on the ball and the hips up. Now on this set, what we're gonna do is just lift one arm up and lower it down. So just lift and lower. We're working that shoulder, we're working on balance and stabilization through the core, right? Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. So as you're lifting that weight, think about be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Just say that to yourself, just repeat it. All right, a few more times, one more. Now let's go ahead and switch out the arms. Just lift and lower. I can do all things through Christ. Say that with me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now I know your hips are having a challenge here. It's a lot of work to keep the legs real still as this arm's moving, but you can do it. Use your core. And we're pressing through this together, right? We can do all things through Christ as he strengthens us. Again, working the shoulder on this one, you're also working your glutes and your hips by staying in this tabletop position. Anytime you need to rest your spine, just walk back and rest it, okay? All right, we've got about three more of these. Exhale on that lift. One more. All right, now both arms. Bring the weights over the shoulders. This time we're gonna lower down through the hips and then press up. Again, lower down and then lift up. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Again, working those hips, it's not an easy one, but we're doing this together, right? Lower down, inhale, exhale, lift up and press. Reach through all the way and you can take these slower if you need to. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, right? We are strong and bold and courageous. All right, keep going. Again, if you want to rest your spine, you can hold it in position and just work these arms, work the chest. 
and work your shoulders. Let's do that one more time. All right, arms down, walk back, rest the spine just a few seconds here. All right, now on this one, bring your weights towards one another, your palms together, and you're gonna lower back, go into a chest fly, come up and curl. Again, go back, be careful with it. And if you wanna get rid of the weights, you can do that as well. You know, we live by faith, right? Not by what we see with our eyes. We need to be living by faith and keeping your eyes up, thinking about those things that are pure and holy and praiseworthy. Do you feel that through the chest and through your shoulders? All right, keep going. You're doing fantastic. I know you are. We're working the core. And again, the chest and the shoulders on this one. We're keeping those legs really strong in position. All right, let's do that one more time. All right, now we're gonna walk back out, okay? So let's walk back out, place the head on the ball and lift up. So on this one, we're gonna bring our arms up. We're gonna alternate that fly. Just one arm goes out at a time. You know, we need to take our thoughts captive, right? Every single one of them and make them obedient to Christ. So be real mindful about what you're thinking about and ask God to help you with that, to renew your mindset through him and take those thoughts that shouldn't be in your head, take them captive, get them out of there, right? As I say, take out the trash. <laughs> All right, keep moving from side to side. All right, working that chest, working through the shoulders, definitely working that lower body. Okay, one more. All right, this next set, both arms flies out. We're gonna lower down and then we're gonna come up in a hip lift. I will praise the Lord at all times. That's a good one for this exercise as we lift up Think about praising the Lord at all times, in the good times, in the rough times, in the challenging times, we will praise the Lord. Just keep praising Him. And I guarantee you will get stronger and stronger because of your praise. And that darkness will start to go away as the light of Christ takes over in every area of your life. All right, lower down through the hips come up. You're doing great. Hang in there. You can do this. All right, let's do this one more time together and bring those weights in. Very nice. Okay, walk back. What we're going to do on this one is go back and come on up and cross jab, okay? You can go really small or really big if you wanted to. By his wounds, you have been healed. Receive that, okay? By his wounds, you have been healed. You have to want to receive his healing, right? You want to um, receive all that Christ has for you. And that includes healing you emotionally, right? Spiritually, and also physically, it really does. Doesn't make sense to the world and it doesn't have to, but God is God. And He is a big God and a good God and He is our healer and our redeemer, our savior, our comforter, our king. One more, then walk on back. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, Born for a Time Such as This, Prayer, Coffee, Workout, Love One Another, and Fear Not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts tanks and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. 
The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shape by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.